I think this team's actually super dope. I'm sure you guys just now realized what the item on my right shoe was. Uh, I don't think I was actually talking about it all day. The Assault Vest Alolan Raichu. Actually not the worst thing ever. Uh, Amoongus with Coberry, super good. Uh, Black Sledge Tentacruel. I can't think of a better item to put on a full speed attack Tentacruel. Uh, Zorak Spec, super good. Lunatone with the Choice Carve, amazing. We didn't get to Power Gemini Zards, but you can't say I wasn't ready. And last but not least, Life Orb Cinderace is absolutely amazing. Lunatone. Let's see. Do I want Cinderace here? Or do I want Zorak or Raichu? Raichu's okay. I think it was going to be the Cinderace. Sucker Punch is still pretty good. All right, let's go. All right. Let's see if we can win here. Am I doing 4v4? We're doing doubles, yeah. Dobless. Hmm. I wonder if they're just going to go Politoed Kingdra. Fall Coronical Fable. It's time. It's time, chat. Lunatone. Are you against blocking your picks on stream? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. There's no reason. Alright, I'm Power Gem this guy. Hmm. I think you actually wanted to protect your Amoongus, because I think he's going to go for, like, Follow Me's as well. And so, like, I don't want to just die to a Heat Wave. If he wants to go for, like, a Bug Buzz into my Lunatone. And a Follow Me Clefable. Damn, he's so good with this Follow Me. Let's see if he Bug Buzzes. I don't think he is. I think he's going for a Heat Wave. Let's see how much damage this actually does. Not enough. Quiver. Oh, shit. Really? Hmm. Hmm, that sucks. Let me think about what I can do here. Yeah, I gotta steal the power gem. You still rage powder here? Because if he KOs this thing, um, it could be heat waves. We should be okay here, I think. We don't know if he's modest. We don't know like what his speed stat is on that bulk. We might still be faster. It's possible we're still faster. There's a bug buzz. Oh, it's like I play the game. Yep. You're weak. Oh, that wanted a lot less. Let's try it. This is so greedy. Any reason to use Shadow Ball instead of Dark Pulse on a non ghost type? Um, so it's like. Shit, there, it's more common to see a dark reduced berry. Oh, and he didn't follow me that turn. Wow. So he was just going to die. He was just letting himself die. That's fair. You're allowed to let yourself die if you want. You could die if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. He's probably going to protect next turn. Let's see. Yeah, this is fine. We still have Lunatone in the back. Don't worry, chat. We still have our Lunatone. I think this might be a Sash Bulk. So, like, I'm actually in a Poison Jab. This Clefairy Bull. Clefairy Bull. <laughs> and if the ally switches here, um, he's going to lose both Mons. Is Tentacle over that good? Offensively, Ask because I have a rain team. Tentacle is not good on a rain team. But it's cool, Mon. Like, for example, like, Shadow Ball can hit something like Hatterene, but it can't hit something like Indity. So it really depends on how you want to do it. They play different roles. They definitely do play different roles. Yo, Heat Wave. I'm a, I'm a Tentacruel, Chief. I'm Tentacruel. Dark Pulse, it's normal type. Yep. All right, so that thing's gone. I don't know if Poison Jab will actually... Poison Jab won't kill a bulk, but, like, we outspeed it now. Tentacool. I'm thinking it was sashed anyways. He played that one turn like it was sashed. 
Flame body. Never lucky. Tentacruel. OMG. Don't you just hate that? Don't you just hate it when that happens? Ugh, that sucks. Waterfall should still be able to KO from there. But. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure we outspeed. We both at plus one, but like, I'm jolly. And it's raining now? Yeah, I'll do that. Polytoe with the Drizzle. I wonder if he's going to go for like a Rage Powder with a Volk. I don't think so. We can, we can KO from here. I wonder if we can one-shot Politoed. If we were at plus one, I think we would definitely one-shot the Politoed. We'll see, though. Airstream. Big damage going to the Politoed this turn, for sure. Holy moly. Is that Sash Politoed? Are you Sashed? Okay. I mean, we actually outspeed the Falk now, for sure. He wasn't Sash. He just lives. The boy who lived. Delete. Any relation for teams or players just getting a VDC? Just play with what you want. There's no reason to even, like, try to need to get good right now because uh, there's no format, right? There's no tournaments happening until, like, 2021. So, like, there's no rush in trying to, like, get all the info right now. There's absolutely no rush. Let's see the last Mon. He hasn't Dynamaxed yet, so, like, we do have to, we do have to watch out for that. Cinderace is at plus one. Of course it's Kingdra right now. If I was at plus two, we'd be great. Let me actually think about this. What have in the back? I have a Lunatone, Lamau, and a Burned Tentacruel. Great. Great. And I'm at plus one. That sucks. Probably gonna lose this one. Can't believe that Politoed lived. That was ridiculous. I mean, people snipe the streamer, what are you going to do, you know? Yeah, if I had that second... If I still had plus two speed, I would definitely win this one. Yeah, playing Monzu alike is the most important thing, I think. It's possible he's not running a full speed Kingdra. Helping hand, yo, he wants it. We're going to lose our Cinderace for sure this turn. For sure. Tendercrawl has plus two speed. At least someone does. All right, there is still one way that we win this game, chat. Oh, we outspeed. Awesome, that's great. That's a lot of damage. He was actually running a really bulky Kingdra. That's crazy. This makes my tentacle so fast. He's gonna be able to kill my Cinderace though. Geyser. All right, so the problem is I got this big burned tentacle, right? I got this humongous burned tentacle. Who's he gonna hit? Like, who are you actually hitting? Cause like, if my plus one speed Cinderace can outspeed you, that means you're probably not that fast. And if he hits the Tentacruel, like, I'm thinking about it like this. I kinda wanna Swords Dance. I outspeed the crap out of him for the rest of the game. And actually, Poison Jab's better. If I can actually get the Poison, that'd be dope. And I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast. Who are you hitting? You gonna hit the Lunatone? Let my Tentacle get multiple pot shots on you. Poison Jab, that's right. I know I'm fast. Give me the Poison. Never lucky. He's air streaming. He's ignoring the Lunatone. Yo, he's disrespecting Lunatone right now. How dare you disrespect my boy Lunatone. Let's go. Oh, come on. So, Alright, tentacles. Did we, I think we got it. I think we did it. Because, like, we have the black sludge to mitigate that. Oh, wait, but he has the airstream now. No, tentacle's still faster. It's, like, plus four. And then he has to hit the uh, Lunatone this turn. Let's go. Just KO it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, we did it. Finally. Yo, they disrespect the Lunatone. And they got dumpstered. Why would you expect the moon blast from the moon Pokemon? <laughs> I can't redirect a Moongus, but I can't fake out it, right? So I think I want to go Raichu. Uh, Raichu, Zorark seem okay? Yeah. 
And then we gotta disguise it as a Moongus. As weird as that sounds, because we want him to think that he can still go for his beat up combo. And I think Lunatone's actually dope here. Tentacle's also like really good. Okay, let's go. Destroyer, thank you for the follow, my friend. Appreciate it. Yeah, we do a lot of Pokemon. Favorite Pokemon is Lycanroc. Lycanroc's a good one. What form's your favorite? What form is your favorite? Let's see. We got Aeron. Hmm. So we want to disguise... We want to have Amoongus out. Because we want him to think that he can go for the beat up, right? We want him to think like... He's going to look at our board and think like, Oh, it's Raichu Amoongus? That can't do anything. He's like, I'm just going to beat up and I'm going to use my Trachea. I'm just going to win the game. What we're going to do is we're going to nuke that Amoongus, right? So we want him to think that he can beat up because Rage Powder doesn't redirect Grass types, right? It's uh, Grass types are not affected by Powder moves. So we're going for a Flamethrower here and a Fake Out to get the Amoongus off the board to disable the combo for the most part. Hopefully he doesn't have Dragapult in the back, but we'll be in a good spot. Who wants a free sub versus say it gets it? Yo. Who wants it? He's going to be Dynamaxing that Trachean. Trachean's going to do massive damage to one of these guys. It's probably going to be the Raichu, unfortunately, but I hope it's the Amoong Amoongus. <laughs> and uh, then we can bring out something to actually do something good. Dragon Pulse, Drain Pulse from Mega Launcher Clawtizer. I think Drain Pulse is better. I think Drain Pulse is better. So let's see. You got the Protect Chief. Fake out. Nope, he ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, we're dead. You know what? I made the right play. He wanted to, he tried to steal Spike and Amoongus, so it's like, what am I going to do? Yeah, I don't like Deep Pulse very much. That sucks, man. That would have lost the Sash. That would have lost so many different things. Right, is there anything I can get done here? He's Orb too. Wow. Like, I could have been Sash Amoongus. I could have used Spore. There's so many things I could have done. I could still use Spore. <laughs> Chat. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. Let me think about what I actually want to do. Is that Schmitty Gift in a sub? OMG. Thank you so much, my friend. It's fine. Hypnosis. Oh, we just hit the raw! <laughs> Scarfed hypnosis too. <laughs> nice beat up, Chief. Ayo. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Get him, Luna. Tell him fuck him up. <laughs> that's so amazing. Yeehaw. Schmitty also dropping a sub. 20 months. Pika Trainer sub. And yo, we got a lot of subs popping up right now. Can we put some subs up? Yo, it makes sense we got a lot of subs up. We're popping the good games right now. This is decent damage against Whimsicott, by the way. Yeah, it's a two-shot. Alright, so I'm thinking about just hypnosising the Whimsicott. And I kind of want to... I probably should have Dynamaxed last turn. I have Cinderace in the back. I kind of want to Dynamax with the Cinderace. That Trakion has used one turn sleep. Let's just do it like this. 24 months is so long. Yo, two big years. Tailwind? Never heard of it. What's that? I'm actually not going to hear your Whimsicott. I want to put the Whimsicott to sleep, and it's already wasted one turn of sleep. That's completely fine if I miss. Like, I don't really care. As long as Drakkan doesn't, like, wake up anytime soon, I'm in a golden spot. Crit! I'll take it. And now he's at Dynamax. Why Dark Pulse on Zorark? Because the person who helped me get the Zorark didn't put Night Days on it, even though I asked for it. Even though I did, I did ask for Night Days. Um, let's go. I like Night Days better. Dark Pulse works, though. They both are fine. Protect Whimsicott? Yo, you're protect- you're wa Nice tail when you're wasting. You asked for Dark Pulse? I did not! I did not! I'm gonna go into the- I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up there. No way. No way. Did I win? I'm looking at my mod chat. Oh, you're right. I did. I'm an idiot. Sorry. I'm bad. I'm bad. You're actually, I forgive. Uh, I'm incorrect and bad because it looks like I did ask for <laughs> Dark Pulse, which is fine. I'm going to use Dark Pulse for another team, so it's okay. Yeah, Pika Trainer is the one to help me out getting this Zorark. 
So let's see. The Wimsicott's over there. Wimsicott looks like it's still awake, though. Oh, he protected, right? Amoongus! I'm gonna put that to sleep. Yeah, that's right. You go to bed. That's right. Yeah, bed. Actually, let me think about this. You want to see something really dope? I could Hypnosis and Rising Voltage so he can't spore me. Like... I'm just gonna switch. I'm just gonna switch. But like, I could make a very good play that turn. Yeah, well, let's let's just switch in. Oh, I thought I had a Cinderace. Let's right, so we'll switch on Aramungus Lamau, and just go for like this, because I don't want to get spored. I can read sometimes. Yo, same. Lunatone did its job. This is their last turn of Tailwind. I'm really surprised to see Amoongus. Yo, you're, this guy's afraid of my Lunatone energy. I'd be afraid of Lunatone too. Lunatone's amazing. Do you think Analytic has any use on Zero Speed Magnezone? Or is 30... You know Magnapole is its best ability, right? Magnapole and Sturdy are its best. The only time Analytic's ever good when people start overly calcing for Magnezone. And then you can get away with a little bit extra damage from Analytic. Moonblast. Go for it. That's why I decided to Dynamax, Chi. And this is going to make it so you can't put me to sleep. Oh, and I got the KO. I wasn't even expecting the KO. I'll take that. What are you going to do? Use your little spore? Yeah, magnet pull. Steel pull. Spore, never heard of it. What's that? What's spore? What is spore? Let's think about what I actually want to do. I wonder if I can nuke it. Shandy. All right. Shandy's really good versus Raichu. You guys want to see something dope here? You want to see something really cool? Oh, I'm so good at Pokemon sometimes. Magnapult's still really good in doubles. Do you guys see what I'm doing? So I changed the terrain to Electric Mix so I couldn't get spored, and now I'm going to change it to Psychic so I can spore him back. It just worked. It just worked. Terrain? What terrain? Oh, he's Scarfed. No, what terrain? You say, no, the terrain. What terrain? The terrain that I'm setting right now? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then he can't use Rage Powder to redirect, like, a grass type. So this guy's not ready. The big brain plays. That's correct. It's almost like I'm the... Oh, yeah, he had a Tailwind. He's not Scarfed, but... You see the idea. Anyways, what do we want to even do here? Um, I might as well just like pollen and puff my own Raichu. And let's go for another Mindstorm. Max Lightning the Chandelure. No, he's... I'm just going to kill the Amoongus. Get myself a little bit of health back. Oh, I think he is Scarfed, though, because I think he just went... Yeah, he did go before my Raichu, so he is Scarfed. He was Scarfed in Tailwind. I was right the whole time. I probably should just Pollen Puff the Shandy just to break Sash, but, like, I thought it was Tail... I thought it was Scarfed, and it is Scarfed, so we're fine. thought it was Scarfed, and it is Scarfed, so all we gotta do now is Rage Powder, because he could wake, totally wake up this turn. So, uh, Rage Powder, and the biggest expanding force you ever did see in your life, and then we're gonna win. Battle was cancelled, yo. We came back. Whimsicott Terrakion? Never even heard of it. Oh, that's a really cool team. Uh, a couple starters. All right, we need to bring fire attacks. There is a Ferrothorn and a Venusaur. Oh, I'm gonna bring Lunatone, though. It's Lunatone time. Lunatone! And Zorak, right? Let's disguise Zorak as Tentacruel. I think you still want Cinderace. Our team is so weak to that uh, Seismitoad, but that's fine. We have Lunatone. It's okay. Our whole team is weak to that, that Seismitoad. But it's okay. Tentacles are really good Pokemon to disguise Zorark has, I think. I've talked about it. Like, Zorark's weak against, like, bug, fighting attacks, fairy attacks. All three things Tentacle resists. Tentacles weak against those big, like, what is it? I don't know. You, you understand. They it, I mean, Tentacruel's weak against... The shit that would kill the Tentacruel would still kill the Zorark, but... More often than not, people don't really have those moves. Like, if you're an Earthquake something or... Whatever, you get the idea. 
All right, so let's see. Who do we, how do we want to do this? I think we're just going to Psy Shock the Blast, the Venus. Actually, I, I know that this KOs the Venusaur. But I'll just Psy Shock it. And we'll go for the big flamethrower. He's never going to see this one coming. He's never going to see it coming, chat. We're going to double get, we're going to get the double KO. You ready for this double? The double KO? Using any female with follow me, sending out Lapras with Psychic Seeds. Ooh, that sounds good, actually. Choice Scarf, Lunatone. Oh, come on! Lunatone always leaves them at, like, a fraction of health. Lunatone. I mean, I still think Psy Shock's better, too. Psy Shock is a little bit weaker than Psychic. I'm pretty sure Psychic would have picked up that KO, but, like, I had to do it! Should have just Moonblasted his ass. How dare you put to sleep my Lunatone. At least we got the Ferrothorn. That was like the really big thing there. Never kill. You're right. Never kill. Now let me think about what I want to do here. Because Lunatone's big sleep right now. I have to go after the Venusaur, I'm sure. And I don't want to... Like, if he sends out Blastoise here, that's actually super bad. Because he can just set up a free Shell Smash. Ah, come on. All right, how do we deal, about how do we deal with this? Tentacruel is actually good. I think you have to, yeah, have to just switch the Tentacruel in. Double Tentacruel! And then next turn, we're gonna like Dynamax the real Tentacruel and we're gonna, we're gonna make him not know like which way he's looking. He might just fake up my Zork and Sleep Powder it, which would suck. I'm pretty sure that uh, the Venusaur was Sash though. Okay, who wants to eat the Flamethrower? Herbert! Oof. Well, good thing we switched to Tentacruel in. There's a Flamethrower. It's actually still do decent damage. It is Spexed. It's a lot of damage still. Hydro! That can miss, you know. Look at that. Correct switching. Look at them respecting Lunatone. Puts, oh, that's an orb. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Two Tentacruels. Is that lefties? Okay. Alright, so we got two Tentacruels on the board. gonna jab this one and this gives a special V drop don't really need it I saw my Cinderace it's kind of hard to see what I should be doing here that's fine he can't like KO it's fine that was canceled I'll take the win Double Tentacruel. This guy wasn't ready at all. Tentacruel's so big. Butterfree, NDD, Cinderace, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Tyranitar. So there's a couple different things I could do here. I kind of want to go Zorark. Oh, actually, is that Lucky Wolf raiding with a party of 61? Yo, I saw you had amazing numbers today, my friend. Thank you for stopping by. Let's give a shout out. Shout out. Lucky Wolf. Everyone, go give a follow to her channel. That's I cannot right. believe that generosity with the big raid. What do we want to do here? I think I want to lead Lunatone. <laughs> I think I'm going to lead Lunatone. Oh, Chad, you know I got to do it to him, right? You know I got to lead that Lunatone. What else do we want to lead with? I think Lunatone and Tentacruel are actually pretty pog. So, Lunatone, Tentacruel. Oh, what a weird... What a weird game. <laughs> And the thing is, they think we're going to be going Zork and like Raichu, and it's like... Why would we when we could just go Lunatone Tentacruel? <laughs> Let's come in here anyways. The raids are an added bonus, yo. I appreciate it. Hopefully you had a great stream. Do you like Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A's okay. Chick-fil-A's alright. I've had the Chick-fil-A like chicken sandwich and that like Popeye's chicken sandwich. Both are pretty good. Alright, Butterfree Entity. So we're just going to get that Entity out of here. Um, I mean, we're probably gonna- Look at that Lunatone! <laughs> okay, let me think about how I actually want to do this. I think you actually have to get the Butterfree off the board. Like, super get it off the board. Let me just think about how I want to do this. I go for Hypnosis too. Hmm. And we're just gonna Power Gem. Power Gem, the Butterfree, Tentacruel, Pog. That's right. Um, which is actually better? 
Poison Jab's technically better. But, like, you know, you can flinch with Waterfall. So if that's not Sash, this would get redirected into the entity and have a 20% chance to flinch. Yep. Love the hair. Appreciate it. Love the nice comments. So let's see. Uh, we got Unique the Butterfree, guys. We respect Butterfree in this house. We're, we might... Our Tentacle might not even die to this expanding force. I'm serious. It might not. Haircut looks fire. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll see, though. Tentacle's really bulky on the specialty side. Like, right now, they're quaking in their boots. They're sitting there like, oh, shit. He actually led Wunatone Tentacruel. And if I'd love to kill this Butterfree. All right. Like I said, that was the correct choice in um, double targeting the Butterfree, right? And then I used Waterfall instead of Poison Jab to potentially get a 20% chance flinch after the redirection. So I would like to be rewarded with my flinch. Yeah, never lucky. Never lucky, but you can't tell me I didn't make the right play. And that's a full special attack entity. You know, sometimes you just get wasted, right? Sometimes you get wasted, but you know, we still have Lunatone. We still have the big Lunatone. And you know we gotta respect our Butterfree. You know we gotta do it to him. So let's see. Cinderace popping off right now. So I would I'd expect to see like Incineroar here maybe. Incineroar or Rillaboom. There's the Incineroar. So really smart saving the Incineroar to come out and intimidate our Cinderace. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely get the NDD off the board, but I'm thinking about how I want to do it. We're going to power gem the Incineroar for sure. And then I'm thinking if I even should Dynamax here. And if I were to Dynamax, what type would I want to turn myself into? Because like I think it's actually better to Power Ball because that NDD, we haven't seen its item, but it could be like a Dark Reduce Berry, so I don't really want to go for the Max Darkness. Wait, I do want to go for Max Darkness. Lower Special D, and then I'll make the Incineroar. This Luntone's faster than the Incineroar, though. That's fine. I think this is okay. Let's go. Does the Tentacruel have good special defense? I'm surprised it fainted. I have zero points in bulk on my Tentacruel chat. We are a sweeper Tentacruel. We are a sweeper Tentacruel. So you know we're rocking that absolutely massive like full attack speed stat on our Jolly Tentacruel. So that's why I died. <laughs> and also like I said, that is a full special attack entity. Otherwise it wouldn't have. Like if the entity that I use that you guys used to seeing from my channel would not have KO'd a Tentacruel. It's gonna be Dynamaxing. So let's see. I maybe should have. I should have probably. Eh. Should I have stayed as a freaking? No. I, I think this is the right place, especially because Dynamaxing. I'd love the special D drop. He's probably just going for the big like knockoff effect type play or the Max Darkness into my Lunatone. So let's see. Lunatone's so fast. Choice scarf Lunatone. Look at that energy. <laughs> so Max Darkness. We get a special D drop on there. Alright, so Entity goes down. Now let me actually think about what I want to do. So we're going to lose our... We are going to be losing our Lunatone this turn, I'm pretty sure. And my Cinderace is still at minus one, if you do remember correctly. I probably should have just high jump kicked. That high jump could like max nuck the Entity, but I didn't want to not KO it. Now we'll see, we got an Amoongus in the back. And Amoongus is not that great versus, Cinder, or versus uh, Incineroar, but I can redirect for like one turn. So we'll see. I kind of want to just wait out the Dynamax turns and then just go for like a high jump kick or something into the Incineroar. Because we'll be able to KO even at like minus one. So Amoongus popping it off. What you got in the back, Chief? Little Boo? Titar. Okay, we're going to max Nuck that into Oblivion. People like people forget, forgot about Offensive Incin. Yeah, no, a lot of people don't really use like Aggressive Incineroar. That, you're, that is correct. That is not something that's seen very frequently. I think we're actually going to spore the, Incine the Incineroar here instead of going for that. And we're just going to go for a Max Nuck. We should be able to kill the Titar. He might protect, but if he's protecting, he's not doing anything else. And then we still have our Amoongus potentially. Like he, sh he could just Max Flare our Amoongus, right? But we'll see. Max Nuck, no protects. Are you Chopperberry Chief? You better be. Are you Sash? You better be. I mean, we didn't see the Sash on the Butterfree. There could totally be a Sash on this T-Tar. Oh no, it's Sash T-Tar! <laughs> oh, it's almost like I play the game. I think I've said, like, everything that's happened this game. <laughs> Sash T-Tar, I've seen it before. Uh, like I said, it wasn't on the Butterfree. So, Max Flare, probably gonna lose the Amoongus this turn. I should have probably just protected it. So you've never seen that before. You have not played enough Pokemon. Sash Titar is super common. I would say Titar, Titar's most common item in the 2015 format was Sash, probably. Rock Slide. Oh, he misses, though. What mal? What mal? I think I can just ignore it. Um, uh, well, let me think about this. I think I'm just going to max Nuck the Titar again and ignore the Incineroar. 
It's in the sun. I guess I would just turn myself into a, a fire type and just KO the T-Tar. Never seen Sash T-Tar in your life? You haven't played enough Pokemon! So if I turn myself into a fire type, I think I'm fine. And then I just have to go for like a, uh, sorry, a high jump kick into the T-Tar. Or into the Incineroar slot. And high jump kick's actually stronger than Max Knuckle. So it's actually smarter to wait. I mean, yeah, he could totally like protect. But like this isn't going to do that much. I'll actually have enough health to live if I miss a high jump kick if he goes for protect. So I'll be able to go for like two high jump kicks. All I gotta do is go for two high jump kicks. Cinderace versus Incineroar. Battle of the starters. Place your bets. Place your bets, everybody. Survey says it's going to be me. Come, come on. Just give me that. Give me the value. Give me the high jump kick. We saw Max Darkness and Max Flare. We haven't seen... We didn't see Fake Out, I don't think, because there's a uh, Psychic Train. That's on Vested, G-Max Cinderace. Yeah, it's good. Probably it's second or third best. Maybe it's like third or fourth best item. High jump kick. All right, so we got it. Just don't miss? No, never. I would never miss. I would never miss a high jump kick. I'm the guy that hits thunders and focus blasts. You think I'm gonna miss a high jump kick? Not today. Not today. And I'll take the wins. We used Lunatone. <laughs> I'm gonna lead Lunatone. Lunatone versus Toxapex? Lunatone versus Mineshaw? Lunatone versus Torkoal? Lunatone ver Lunatone's good versus all of those Pokemon. Alright, Lunatone Amoongus? No, we need a little bit more damage, I think. Cinderace, maybe? I'm gonna go Raichu, because I think they're gonna need burn any fake outs. Lunatone Destroyer. Why not use this team on ladder? I feel like it would catch people off guard. Uh, this team can't beat Psy Spam, right? So we're just using this team for fun. For fun. You know that thing, fun? is pretty fun. Fun and done. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Toxpex is super good. Don't sleep on Don't Don't disrespect Toxpex. Venusaur is good against Lunatone? I don't think so. I disagree. I think Lunatone has the competitive edge in the matchup. Because Lunatone is choice scarfed. Alright, so the question is like, are you what are you actually doing with that that uh, road time over there? That's the real question. I'm gonna fake out it. If he wants to Dynamax this Rotom and go after my Lunatone and respect my authority, well, wise choice. Alright. He's chosen correctly. Fake out. Wise choice! That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Let's go. Big damage. Sashes up. Okay. That was a crit too. Yo, respect my Lunatone. So Sash, huh? Okay. I think the right play is actually just a nuke. The uh the Rotom, but we'll see. Right has 50 base defense. Oh yo, it's weak as fuck. I gotta get the mineshaft off the board right now, actually. Yeah. Oh well. Big damage. Look at that damage! That's a lot of damage from a Lunatone. He's totally Hydro Pumping me. Don't do it. You're double crits! I'm two for two! Don't crit my Lunatone with a Hydro Pump. Volt Switch! We live to fight another day, the power of Lunatone. Alright, they should know that we're Scarfed right now. They should know. It's probably gonna be like Venusaur Torkoal coming in here. Which would be not great. Amoongus. Okay, Amoongus. You do know that I have the double psychic board from hell, right? I have the damage right now. Toxic. Oh! Okay. Okay, USA. Let's see what you're working with right now. Hold up, hold up. 
I'm about to just set a Moonblast. Like, I'm about to set a Terrain. Because, like, you can't Spore or do anything weird if I do it. Nah, I'll just side shock you. That's fine. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid! I just want to respect the Spore user. Yo! And also, whoever just attacks Toxapex. Never just attack the Toxapex. Look at that big damage. Big damage! Yo, what? He just ate it? <laughs> That guy's thick! The fuck is he eating? He ate two super effective stab psychic attacks. Wow. Lunatone, I'm so sorry, friend. The rest of the game will have to be won without you. It's swords dance time. What's t what is Toxpex really going to do versus Tentacruel? Like, tell me one thing that it really wants to do versus the Tentacruel. Amoongus thick? That's right. That's a really thick Amoongus. Tentacruel is... It's like better Toxapex. I know, right? Tentacruel is so cool. It's gonna have to Dynamax that Rotom. It's already at half. So it's like... Well, let's go. So, Spore user down. SD baby! Oh, we're about to do big damage right now. The big damage from Tentacruel. Pex isn't good at doubles. Um, no, you're definitely not thinking of Pex the right way. So, like, I made a team in 2019 that showed how to use Pex. And, like, Diamond has gotten, like, over 100 CP at, like, actual regionals in a format with Ubers that uses Toxapex. No, no, no. Toxapex is... Wait. Y'all are sleeping on Toxapex if you think that it's not good. Toxapex is absolutely amazing. Like seriously, one of the one of the best Pokemon. You just have to build your team around it. You have to build your team around it. There's so many cool moves that Toxapex gets. And there is like like just check out the YouTube channel. Type in Toxapex. Yeah, this Pokemon's just straight nuts. It gets it's the best um infestation user. It's the best infestation user. So, like, it uses infestation with, uh, whatever that thing is that, um, it's kind of like Ferrothorn, but, like, it uses, it can actually grind out things better than Ferrothorn can. I think we just one shot. I think we KO from here at plus two. Binding Band. Yeah, Binding Band, infestation, like, recover. You don't even use Baneful Bunker. And it has Regenerator, so that's what's, made, that's what's really good about it. Weakness policy pecs. I mean, rock that big 40 base attack, special attack. Weezing, though? Weezing's pretty good. All forms of Weezing, every ability is all, all really good. I should be able to KO this Rotom, I think. Come on, Tentacruel, show him what's up. That's a plus two! That's a plus two. Big Swords Dance Tentacruel. It's hard with the 15 minute timer, but I think 20 minute timer makes it usable again. Are you talking about Pex? Pex was never... The only person that ever lost the time using Toxapex was Diamond. Sorry, Diamond. Battles cancel. We take the wins! We used Lunatone and Tentacruel. It doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that.